Welcome back, YouTube. Thank you for joining me, and it's a very special day. I'm going to share with you my favorite Air Jordan 11 low, and it is the playoff 11 low, and there's no IE about it. So in the 96 playoffs, we saw Michael Jordan wearing this shoe, and I knew something was different with the red collars, and there was no red outsole, and I had to have it. Uh, I was in middle school at the time, and a little insecure, wear the shiny patent leather, even though I thought it looked really cool. But I had to have these. So this is the actual pair that I did get and uh, paid for these myself actually before the you know previous models were for Christmas, for my birthday, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, same time, right around. I put some soul protectors on them just to preserve them because I didn't beat these up and I definitely want to preserve them moving forward. They will need to re-glue soon, so I'll have my guy Amel Skunk uh, take care of that. But just super comfy still. You can see the quality is just amazing. The shape, they're just so good. Uh, so I just had to add a few over the time. So here we have five pairs of OGs, starting in the top row, going around. And these two are dead stock. So these two on the top left, I actually, that's my pair from back in the day, like I said. And the one to the left of it, I found on eBay for really, really cheap. So I wear those two. This one's also a size 11, which we'll mix into the comparison. And we have the 2021 Retro here. And we have the OG. This one is made in Taiwan. And then we have an OG made in China. 10 and a half and a, uh, a 10. And then everything across the back and the new Retro is a size 11. So we'll take a peek at the boxes really quick too. So here's the 10 and a half. Made in Taiwan, it's this pair right here. As well as all the top pairs are made in Taiwan. So we'll get more into detail about the differences between, you know, the Taiwan and China pair. And we also have size 10, made in China. That's this pair right here. The red laces, it's really cool little accent. Those came from Japan. Sometimes they sold different accessories than we could get in the United States. So having the black and red laces in that was pretty cool. And before we start our comparison, here is the Retro Box. Air Jordan 11 Retro Low. And like I said, there ain't no IE about it. We just... There it is. Air Jordan 11 Retro Low. That's all you need. So, know your history, Jump Man. And uh, all you kids out there, calling them neutral gray still. Shame on you. Uh, for the Jordan 1. But yes, Jordan 11 Low. The only low top was the Cobalt. So... Just a quick uh, edumacation for y'all, and uh, we're going to get in on the comparison next. And starting from the left side, we have the pair made in China. It's a size 10. Next, we have the 10 and a half that is made in Taiwan. And also, the 2021 Retro is made in China. And this is a size 11 made in Taiwan. So we have the three OGs. So this is to kind of size up. Uh, this is a, a slightly worn pair, um, but then we have the two dead stock pairs. So we're just kind of doing an overall review here. So the first thing you could definitely see that I'm not a huge fan of on the retro is how the new buck comes down and you have the stitching that goes across the toe. So the stitching lines, there's not, I don't even know, if it's probably about the same you know, line segments, but the way it's laid out, this is kind of ribbed. Like you can actually feel it run over. This is just smooth, and then I got this weird, like, divot. And the spacing here, like, there's a lot of room here where it should be closer to the toe, which makes, you know, like the Air Jordan 13 they do, it just makes it look like it's got this big toe box. And these are humped up. You'll see a, another view later on that definitely shows that more. But that's probably my biggest pet peeve with this retro. Um, but you can see the netting, it's a little tighter, and it's not got quite the sheen that you can see of the OGs on both sides. It's got more of a sheen to it and it's a little little looser, a little wider, more ventilation you could say. And we go on to the tongs. Really soft, just buttery leather. I put the second to none, the OG 11s, the low tops, the leather on them. This is very good though. I mean the retro is nice. Um, it's definitely kind of simulating that feel, um, but it's not not quite the same. Never is, uh, but uh, yeah, these definitely have pretty good, pretty good leather on them, you know. And I took the I took the shoe tree out too, so if you guys are saying, oh, he's trying to beef up the toe and make it look, you know, and these are all no, 
and this is taken out. I didn't. Uh, I'm not trying to trying to shame the uh, retro or anything, but they're they're decent. I'm not in love with them, but they're they're pretty good overall. Um, definitely the best we've had garbage on top of trash the past uh, couple retros, and everybody's got their opinions, but that's mine. So these are worth buying at least. So that's where I'm standing on those. And you can see the netting here. We'll go on to the next detail. It's a little it's a little wider or not wider, but uh, larger perforations, and it's a little tighter here. You can see. So yeah, again, these are both size 11, and you got the China on the end, and the Taiwan 10 and a half. Tongue heights are pretty much pretty much on point. I think they're, I mean, you can't even really com complain about tongue height. They look pretty close. Because these are both 11, and you got your 10 and a half here. Jump mans with the butt crack. You got the finer tuned uh, stitching. And they're skinnier, you know. It's just definitely skinnier jump mans on uh, on the OGs. It's a little wider here. But yeah, it's leather. So I've seen a lot of people that are just super confused or just not quite sure what they're talking about. It's leather and new buck. It's not anything other than that. So this, the side panel where it curves around, where all the perforations are, it goes from leather to new buck. So just clarifying that too. But heights are pretty pretty close, like we said on the, uh, the tongues. But yeah, I just wish, you know, this just looks so much sleeker, right? Looks so much better when, um, when they have this. Another detail you guys can see, the midsole where it comes out. And let's just do the two size 11s even. You can see the midsole. It doesn't even come out really here. But you can see on 10 and a half and on this side, it's just much more... It's flared out. So like when you're wearing the shoes, you could see the midsole kind of like the teeth sticking out here. Where on the retro, it's kind of lost. You don't really see it. So that's kind of uh, kind of a weird thing that they haven't really gotten that detail. The uh, These 11s. I'd have to look at the uh, the other playoff 11s to see about that. But I definitely noticed on that just with the shape of the, the OG shoe and everything. And the, the retro is just wider. It's definitely a wider toe, um, not significantly, but it's definitely a wider shoe, and even a little, a little longer. It's slightly longer. We'll do another. We'll do a flip side, and you guys can see that this size 11 is definitely a little, a little smaller than this. So we'll get on to the next comparison angle next. All right, we're looking at the heel view now, and the first thing you'll definitely notice is the red. The red is much, much lighter. It's not that, that darker, deep, vibrant red. So that's one thing uh, I wish they did get better, but it just didn't happen. Also the ankle shape, how the kind of toward your ankle bone, you could say, how it slopes off here. It's just kind of straight on both sides on the new, uh, on the new retro. And even on size 11 here, you could see it's, uh, Slope. So yeah, size 11, size 10 and a half, and 10 again for the two dead stock pairs, and this one was slightly worn. Um, the main thing I think that I don't like about this also is the tongue thickness. You can see it's really, it's really, really thin. The Taiwan pairs you can see right here, they're both pretty padded, and this one's even heavier padded. So they just kind of made it flimsy, and you know, for this shoe, definitely be like a low top would be nice to see a little more padding. On the tongue um, there's more space here on the OG on the new buck it's a little more narrow here and a little more narrow here but the funny thing is I actually doubled up on the new retro and I will share this later in the video toward the end this pair is actually shorter and than the other retro I have so the other retro I have is taller than this pair and it, this one's shorter yet this one is still taller then the other size 11 are taller than these, which is really weird because it doesn't make sense that this sh is shorter. And, you know, um, I don't know why it's taller than this one. And then I have another pair that's even taller yet. So it's like the sizes aren't quite matching up either to the OG. Obviously, these are the same size. And you guys can see it right here. Proof is in the pudding that the retro is taller. And this is a shorter version I have. So it's kind of bizarre. Again, you can see the netting. Uh, it's got more machine to it. It definitely has more contrast. 
So you got the smooth kind of flat, and then this is looks kind of flat across, and you have the smooth flat new buck again, but then you have a nice uh, a nice sheen to it, so it really helps that material pop. Yeah, just the shape is completely different, you know, at the at the the uh, ankle. Midsoles, you know, sometimes you see variant where it doesn't, you know, there's very always variables to the 11s, I think, like toward the tip and how this lines up on the OGs and the retros, but that's pretty much how that was. And then when we come over the top, you can see, uh, let's see the insole stamp here first. We can see simple jump man. It's your standard. And on the OG one, it's it's kind of it looks very different. It's like the the OG. Um, it's a little little wider and kind of reminds me of like an iron on almost. So this is actually the very the very first Air Jordan that had the Jumpman insole. So you had the patent leather versions had all Nike Air. So before the Jordan Twelve, this and the Cobalt were the first pairs to have the Jumpman. So I do love that historical part of it too. So now that we're looking at the overhead view. We can see, let's focus on the size 11 pairs right here. You can see this toe, we got the heels pretty much lined up. You can see the toe on the retro is definitely, definitely a little, comes a little more forward. This definitely falls off and this, you know, is going up. So the sizes are bigger. It's a little wider of a shoe. I, I find typically that the OGs are a little more um, small than they run. So. Uh, that trend kind of continues here where you can see the new retro is a little wider and a little longer. Because like my childhood pair, the ones up here, these these fit me like a glove. And that's what's nice about the toe and everything. You can see it's so sleek. It just fits so good. And they're really comfortable. And uh, they just, yeah, nothing compares to them. So that's about it for the top view. And we'll go on to the next uh, side by side. So yeah, we did the top view, we did the back view, we saw how good that the uh, insoles on the new one, a little different jump man, but nice to have the polyurethane uh, insoles on the newer retros, I love that. And now we're just going to do a little heel to heel. So it's kind of higher throughout, it's not going to show, I don't know if it's showing up too well um, on camera, but we could see it more in the heel shot, um, but the, the new retro is a little bit, this is just a little, a little more, a little tighter sloped out. Um, but not not significantly different. But again, you can see the netting, like I mentioned earlier, with the sheen to it, and this is a little more flat. And MJ's PE, actually, um, I was sharing with Big Bo, we're talking, and uh, with his pairs and stuff, it's all reinforced. Like, the upper's a little reinforced, and the netting, it's all completely, like, sealed off, I think, for his support when he was wearing them. So they're a little different than the general release OG. Um, but I thought that was pretty cool that... Uh, he did share it with me a while ago, so you wouldn't be able to see your, you know, your hand through, through the netting. It was all, all sealed off, all reinforced. Probably hotter too, so that's why I kind of like this shoe. It's great for summer, and your feet don't get too hot when you're outside all day in the sun. Um, the reds definitely, you can see the difference here. It's the deeper red. This is definitely lighter. And another thing, they tried to kind of mimic the ribbing here. If you get in close, you can see. It's kind of flat and then it kind of rounds off and it's kind of flat and it's definitely doesn't have the same feel this is like straight butter I mean it is so nice you can see just the quality and the reflection and the light and each rivet you can feel going over there's just nothing nothing like this side panel it's just pure awesomeness so definitely wanted to highlight that so this is the Taiwan pair if I didn't mention so we're gonna swap out the china right here and here's a little comparison to the china and the china one actually um it's deep red again as we see collar to collar you see the same same ribbing it's very nice leather on new buck reflection and the china one now that i'm talking about it because it's pretty much similar um but you guys can see the difference between these two OGs is this is more cotton. You can bring it in a little tighter. And the red's even a little deeper, I think, on the China. But if you can see really close, it's more cotton-like. And this is almost nylon. It reminds me of my Jordan 5 PEs, um, those gamers I got. 
it's got the nylon kind of lining. So I thought that was kind of cool. Not only is it the puffy tongue, it's it's almost nylon, like really tight, it's really smooth. So just the China pair is really, really nicely executed. Taiwan's great too, but you find so many of these and I, it took forever to find a China pair. So I, I just recently picked those up not long ago. Um, but yeah, that's a bit of a heel, uh, heel to heel comparison. And uh, next we will be doing the dreaded Jordan brand. I'm sure the dreaded uh, toe to toe because they just can't get that right. All right, here we go. So this is the toe to toe. This tells you the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. And the truth is that this toe box has got awful. Look how sleek this is. Look how aerodynamic. Look how much space you have here. Remember I was talking about how these fit like a glove, size 11, my, my childhood pair. See how much room you got here? Look how much room is here. This just changes the entire look of the shoe completely. So this is, this is my gripe with the retros, especially the retro 11. The black cement fours that came out a few years ago, they just, it, it changes everything. Like, this looks beautiful, it looks great, but then you come down on the toe, it's just like a disaster. So, that's definitely something that needs to be improved because it, it just does not, it doesn't even look right. It doesn't look good. And then you start wearing them, then they still, you got banana toe by, by next month, you know. So, that's my biggest gripe. So, you got the hump, and you see this is smooth. Again, I did not stuff these, there's nothing in there. Um, there's nothing uh, stuffed in either shoe, but you get to see how much wider the shoe is and how much more narrow. If you want, even I can pull the size 11 if you think, oh, it's not the same. It's not the same size. Well, here it is. Here's a size, here's a size 11. It's the same thing. So you got the slope. You got less space here. The quality of the material, you can see just more elevated the uh, netting to where this is kind of inset more. That's definitely got more of a gap you see here more gapped out. The holes here are massive and on the OG you can see they're definitely smaller. So I don't know why they punch these so large either. But that's that's my biggest, you know, just from a quick look you have this really narrow and you can see the ribbing here it's just kind of flat. There's so much dynamic, so much accent on the OG. It's just phenomenal. So that's hence why I own five pairs of those and not five pairs of this medi mediocrity. And before we move on, let's do the China also. So the last two were Taiwan. Now we're going toe to toe with the China OG. So China versus China. So again, this is a little more humped up and not, I mean, not even humped really. It's just a little, little wider. But again, you can see the ribbing. You can see there's cut a little differently shaped but it's still not nearly as wide the netting again has a nice sheen to it on the inside nice smooth nubuck here is it's pretty it's pretty good I mean it's not it's not terrible um, but this overall look of the OG just doesn't come close all right let's go look at those outsoles next so we have finally some red pods we have the retro done right with the black and red checkered. It's definitely one of my favorite features that's on the original is the black and red checkered. I think it looks so cool. And then you get the, the you know translucent outsole with the red pods. It just looks amazing. So this is the China pair. So it's going to look a little smaller because this is a size 10. And um, you have next, we'll do Taiwan. This is the size 10 and a half dead stock pair. So again, it looks very close with the, uh, the carbon fiber looks good. You know, I, I can't complain about it. Maybe you can see both, even in the reflection. I think it's slightly smaller, like the, the, the squares throughout, but it's, it's really close. I'm not going to nitpick that because it does look good. And then we have a size 11 to 11. So you could see, I think the width of the retro is just, you can see the wider, the wider stance on everything here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's kind of got a weird shape to it. Like when I look at the bottom, it just has a weird, weird shape to it, I think. See it's slightly taller than the, uh, than the retro, just a little bit. 
But yeah, I feel like this kind of like indents in, and you can see how this is kind of kind of stays straight, and then it curves up to the toward the front of the foot. Just kind of got this weird molded shape to it a little bit. But they look good. I mean, I think the outsole looks great. They uh, they did it right. Maybe we can see an angle like this. Maybe you kind of see what I'm saying here. It's kind of flat, right? And then this is kind of puffed up more. So I thought that was kind of weird too. And I, I was thinking that it was something. Shut up! I thought it was something that looked a little off. But um, you can see the toe kind of goes up here. And this is kind of flat. And I'm going to go beat some doggies butts and I shall return so like I mentioned earlier yeah we're doing the OG retro comparison but uh, we happened to actually hit on uh, two pairs so I was like oh cool I can you know kind of do a little uh, detailed look on both uh, both pairs and they actually have two different production dates between these and like I mentioned earlier one was taller than the other we'll look at it in a second but then also like this brake stitch line is very straight on this one it's good you almost even notice it you don't even notice it's nice and curved and in this one it's like it goes off like I've seen a lot of that I don't know what was going on with the production and why they constructed them this way but that really really irks me when it should just be nice and smooth like this you know here's the here's the size ten and a half when the slide is over so you see lower toe it's nice and smooth just yeah, it's like butter. You can touch it even. Um, but yeah, it's just uh, really strange how they constructed this. But what I was really, really not understanding was what was going on. This is the same retro that came out, so maybe somebody can explain this to me. That you have the retro that's a little taller than the OG, right? And then you have another retro that's even taller yet. <laughs> Look at where this is at. And both shoes is like this, but I just put one to one. And you guys can see with the OG. But this is significantly taller than here. It's really, really, really odd. I don't know. I don't know what was going on during quality control. And it's two different months. Let's see. It says 2 3 21. You can see. And then on the left, we have 4 14 21. So again, OG's out even. Like, I don't quite understand why one. Can you imagine if you got like two shoes that came from two different factories by accident and one's taller than the other? Like, this shouldn't be a thing. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. There's more space here, obviously. And this is more narrow. And But it's funny because the OG, it's actually lower, but there is more space here. So, again, I don't know. And I probably won't keep both pairs, I to be honest, because it's just like, it doesn't look right. This looks really weird. Like, this is almost like it's like an Air Jordan. Air Jordan 4 height almost, you know. Um, so, yeah, very, very strange. I'm not sure what was going on. And uh, it's got almost like a weird, weird texture here even on. It's like they wanted an elephant print it, but they're like, nah, maybe we'll hold back on that. So it's got this weird wrinkle on it. And I'm just not feeling this pair, to be honest. That and the height. So. But I'd point that out to you guys, and hopefully you guys got good pairs, something similar to this, and not like that. All right, so we reset, and uh, that's about it for today's video. This is a comparison of the Air Jordan 2021 Retro, Air Jordan Low, no IE about it, and the OGs from chi uh, China and Taiwan, in size 10, 10 and a half, and 11, and the two pairs that I rock these days, size 11 in the back. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment below, tell me if it sucked or not, tell me if you hate the music, tell me if you loved it, tell me if you don't care, I don't care. Hope you enjoyed it, have a good day.